12 years ago. I was drawing first and I, and, uh, I had a couple of buddies that, that did tattoos. And I was, I, I just a thought came up and I, oh, well, I could do this. I go, it, it, it didn't seem too hard. It's like a coloring book, you know what I mean? Except for you just can't erase it. So I tried on myself before I, before I did on anyone else so I, I could get it. So I know, you know what I mean, how to do it. And then it was just, it was easy. It was after that, it only took a couple of weeks before I learned how to, how deep to go or, or how fast to go to shade and, you know what I mean? But it's, it's like anything else, you just learn it. It was raining real hard and me and my boy Ethan went over next door with a dolly and moved this great big dog house. And I don't I, I was pulling on it wrong or something and I just I felt the strain on my back. I didn't really care about it. I didn't think it was anything until the next morning when when all the pain hit. Anything that I move real heavy or put strain on it, then I don't, I don't know. It just like pulls something. It hits a nerve, and then I can't even walk for like a month. They wanted to fuse uh, three of the discs because I got four herniated discs. But they wanted they wanted to uh, see about going in and having a, a disc fused. But. I told him that I didn't want that done because I, I was too young to have all that done. Because that'll put a stop to everything. I don't know, I kind of like bypassed the whole pain thing when, when it's hitting so I could just keep doing what I'm doing until it just like finally goes out. kept me from like doing a lot of running or any kind of lifting or anything like that. I just got to be careful and, and uh, not kneel down too long or, or pick heavy things up or watch how I pick them up. It'll start aching after a while. And me, I'll, I'll let it ache. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I go to war with my own back. I'm in my own fight with it. Yeah, I'm not l letting it take over.